Hi, Central Crossing. Welcome to Wednesday. I'm Bailey. And I'm Kylie. Happy first day of November. It's crazy that it's November 1st. I know. Plus, our year is one quarter done. It's fine. And even better, only 15 school days until Thanksgiving break. That sounds awesome. Let's see what is happening with the weather. What can you tell us, guys? Good morning, Central. It's Kurt Rain. I'm Bob Hale. <laughs> with the weather and lunch. The low is 36 with the high of 46, and wind speeds are at a record-breaking one mile per hour. Well, dang. Humidity is 79% and precipitation is 68%. So what's for lunch? Well, we are having pizza and burritos with refried greens. Well, that's it for today. Back to you, Acres. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Now we have some congratulations to send out. Congratulations to the following freshmen who have been elected as freshman class officers. Vernon Murphy, President. Hannah Miller, Vice President. Secretary is Lydia Fraley. Treasurer Maria Hernandez and Sergeant of Arms is Jayana Lard. Congratulations, freshman class officers. <laughs> Next, we have information about college. You can sign up through Nogmions for the following college visits. Next Wednesday, the University of Mount Union will be here at 8, at 8 a.m. And then, next Thursday's Builders Exchange will be here at 10 a.m. to talk about careers in the construction industry. And then here's helpful news. Seniors that are planning to attend college in the fall will need to fill out a free application for federal student aid for FAFSA. CCHS is hosting FAFSA completion day on the Sunday, November 12th at 2 p.m. for you and your family to complete your FAFSA with help from financial aid experts. So put that on your calendar and plan to be here November 12th. All you need to do is register. You can register by visiting the CCHS homepage at cchs.swcsd.us. If you have any questions, please come to the guidance office. And then we have a great way to give back. The Red Cross will be here November 8th from 3 to 8 p.m. for blood donations. You have to be at least 16 years old and weigh 110 pounds. If you are 16 or 17, you will need a parent's permission. Take a look at how important this is. We had been out to a local lake and she came home and had these crazy looking bruises on her. When I saw that, I didn't know anything about leukemia. She was just two and a half and we got the worst call that we have ever gotten. Lindsay had leukemia. And that started a two and a half year chemotherapy regimen. And she did well, went into remission, and started kindergarten, and just on a routine appointment, the blood counts came back and it was a relapse. The leukemia was back. Lindsay was six when she started relapse treatment, but she continued to get well. Lindsay finished up her therapy, and this fall will mark five years of her being off chemotherapy. If you want to donate, call 1-800-RED-CROSS or go to their website and use keyword Central Crossing. As an added bonus, all donors will be entered to win tickets to the OSU versus TTUN game. Okay, so I've been wanting to ask this. What's TTUN? It's not the name of a Big Ten school. I think it's Michigan. TTUN stands for that team up north. Gotcha. That makes sense. Well, now let's see what's happening with clubs. Key Club meets today after school in the food zone. On Thursday, National Honor Society members have a meeting. Current members of the National Honor Society need to attend one of the two meetings, Thursday, either at 7.40 or right after school. This is only for current members, not those being inducted on the 15th. And then SAD meets Thursday morning at 7.30 a.m. And Guitar Club gets together after school on Thursday in room 180. And then on Friday, Chess Club will be meeting in room 209 from 3.30 to 4.30. And finally, this Friday, we have GSA in Mr. Osborne's room after school. Now let's kick it to the locker room for sports. Good morning, Mr. Crossing. I'm Tyler. And I'm Hatley. And we have all your sports info. First up, we have result news. Our hockey team is having a great season. For those of you that don't know, we have a combined hockey team with Hilliard. And on Saturday, October 28th, sophomore Paul Bentley scored a hat trick in a game against Northeast Storm and got two assists. Plus, freshman Jimmy Schwinn scored one goal and David Bentley got three assists. Paul, Jimmy, and David play for the Hilliard Southwest City Schools High School Club Team. The Hilliard team beat Northeast Storm 9-1. On Sunday, they played against Dayton Stealth. The game was very close. The game ended it in a tie. 
Currently, our hockey team is in second place with five points. In first place is Newark Generals with six points. Good luck to our Central Crossing Comets hockey players. And now for your gym this year, some info. Your first practice is this Friday from 4 to 5.30 at Goddess of Gymnastics. That practice will be followed by a parent-athlete meeting at 5.30 at Goddess of Gymnastics. During that meeting, you'll learn about season expectations, uniform information, and practice schedules. You can contact your coach at the contact listed below. Next, we have some info on track. For those athletes still interested in indoor track and field, practice begins on Monday, November 6th, beginning at 4 p.m. Forms and emergency cards can be picked up from Coach Sarah Hall and must be completed before Monday. If you have questions, please see Coach Reggie Cannon, Coach Sarah Hall, or Coach Kojo Kandai. Also getting underway is boys basketball. Boys basketball trials will be held this Friday from 3.30 to 6 p.m. and this Saturday from 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Athletes will need to complete a physical turn in and be eligible with their academics to attend trials. That's all we have in sports. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, guys. Well, you know, Thanksgiving is coming up, and that's always causes so many of us to think about who we are thankful for. Sad has been asking people who they're thankful for right now, here in this building. We're going to start featuring one a day. Take a look. The student I am thankful for is Elizabeth. The reason being is she's always there for me. Think about it today. Who are you thankful for? Take a moment and say something to that person. Well, I'm thankful for Gavin, who has a day late Halloween dad jokes. Good morning, Such Crossing. I'm Gavin, and they came back sooner than you thought. Here's terrible dad jokes that no one loves, but they keep coming back. Halloween edition. Why don't skeletons ever go trick-or-treating? They have no body to go with. <laughs> Why did the vampire subscribe to the New York Times? He heard it had great circulation. <laughs> what is a witch's favorite lesson at school? Spelling. <laughs> what is a ghost's favorite meal? Spooketti. <laughs> what rides at the carnival do ghosts like riding the most? The roller ghoster and the scary go round. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for another installment of Terrible Dad Jokes That No One Loves, Halloween edition. Back to you, anchors. <laughs> Thanks, Gavin. Those are always fun. That's it for today. Have a great Wednesday. We're halfway done. See you tomorrow, Central.